In a previous video, I showed you how to create a manual code deploy deployment for a Docker Compose application. In this video, I'm going to integrate that into my CI/CD pipeline. So whenever we merge to main, we deploy the application. Here are the steps of this video. We're going to create a dedicated user that can do the deployment. We're going to change our GitHub workflows. So whenever we merge to main, we deploy the application. We're going to make sure that code deploy is ready to receive updates to the application and we're going to make a change and see it deployed to our environment. I am in IAM. Let's create a user group. Let's call it deploy GitHub group. Let's attach a permission. Let's type code deploy. Code deploy deployer access. This is really important. Create group. Let's then create a user. And Let's call it deploy GitHub user. Let's select the deploy GitHub group and create the user. We need an access key for our user. So let's select the user, go to security credentials, access keys, create access key. Let's, let's select third party service, understand and next. Let's write a description, deploy, with GitHub, create access key. So here you have the access key and secret. Be careful to share this with no one. For example, I will delete this after this recording. Let's go over to our repository. Let's go to settings of that repository. Let's go to secret and variables for actions. You can see the access key and secret for ECR here. And we're gonna create new ones for deployments. So let's create a new secret, deploy, access key ID. Let's copy the access key here, paste it in here. Let's do the same for the secret, AWS deploy secret. And then we copy this here over here and create that secret as well. Our current workflow looks like this. Whenever we push to main, we check out the code base, we authenticate, we log into ECR, and we build and push images. So the next job is deploy to AWS. And this job needs the first job, so our images need to be ready. And the script here is calling AWS deploy create deployment. This is using an S3 bucket that we created in a separate video. So this S3 bucket contains a zip file that contains app spec and instructions to pull newest versions to Docker Compose. Since this is just a demo application, I don't actually have any resources running in AWS. So I have scripts that can help us create everything that we need. See link in the description. So let's create an EC2 stack. So this will create an EC2 machine with Docker Compose. Let's create the deployment stack. And this will create everything we need in code deploy. Let's make sure that we have an S3 bucket. And let's copy our deployment to S3. Let's see if everything is ready. Let's go to code deploy. Applications. So here our application is. And here is the deployment group. Guess the name dev. Let's go to S3. Here we can see our bucket and within it is the zip file. Let's go to EC2. We have a running instance and we have an elastic IP. So we should be able to see the application here after it's deployed. Since we already changed the workflow, we should be able to make a change in the application create a pull request, merge it, and see it deployed. So let's make a change here. Here's an empty state, and let's say new deployment here. Save it and create a pull request. Now we wait. Now that all of our pre-merge checks have passed, we can squash and merge. 
And now we wait for the post-merge workflows to deploy the application. Our deployment has now succeeded. Let's check. Is the page here? Are our changes here? New deployment here. Great success. That was it. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe.